students my name is sumit mehta so today in this lecture we will discuss about power of accommodation okay so as you all know that islands is made up of jelly like material okay so this is jelly like material the white substance you can see here is jelly like so it is shown here also that it is a lens and this lens is made up of jelly like material and its curvature means this this part the curvature of eye lens can be modified can be modified due to to some extent by ciliary muscles so the ciliary muscles here these muscles are called as ciliary muscles okay so these muscle can change the curvature of the eye lens okay when the muscles are relaxed means when these muscles are relaxed the lens becomes thin so the lens will looks like this okay thus its focal length increases okay so the focal length increase f increases when ciliary muscles are relaxed okay this enables us to see so i can see distant object and when you are looking at a object at a smaller distance so this ciliary muscles contract and the curvature becomes eye lens becomes thicker okay so means f decreases and then you are seeing near object okay students so this is our eye lens which i am showing here and this is also eye lens so when our ciliary muscles are relaxed focal length increases and when they are contract so focal length decrease and so focal length of the this enable us to see the near of by object so students let me first delete this then we will discuss further so the ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length is called accommodation the ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length is called accommodation okay so however the focal length of the eye lens cannot be decreased below a certain minimum limit so there is some limit of limit of min focal length so it cannot be decreased through that point okay and so you may see the image being blurred or feel strain to see an object comfortably the focal length it should be held at 25 cm from eye so mean the minimum distance between the object and the eye to see it comfortably should be 25 cm the minimum distance at which object can be seen most distant difficultly is called it is also called as least distance 
of distinct vision or also called as near point okay so to see the object clearly it should be at a minimum distance of 25 cm from eye okay and for a young adult with normal vision the near point is about 25 cm and the farthest point up to which the eye and what is far point students the far far point is point at which i can see or you can say the farthest point at, at which i can see is called the far point okay it is infinity for for a normal eye normal eye ke liye so it is infinity for a normal eye so you may not hear means the vision of eye will lie between 25 cm to infinite so sometimes the crystalline lens of people at old age becomes milky and cloudy and this conditions is called as cataract so students i hope that you have heard that this person and uh, that this doctor has done a cataract surgery on this person so the cataract is called when the eye lens of or the crystalline lens of the people at old age let me first delete this so lens at old age becomes milky and cloudy and this condition is called as cataract is called cataract okay students so this causes partial or complete loss of vision it is possible to restore vision through a cataract surgery so that is what i have discussed that you have heard of this cataract surgery somewhere that this person this doctor has done a cataract surgery on your uncle or uh, some guy okay so this is what we call as cataract surgery okay in which the vision becomes like uh, you can see partial or uh, there will be a, there will be a complete loss of vision in that case when our eye lens becomes cloudy or milky okay so students till now we have discussed about accommodation cataract what is far point what is near point in this lecture so if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there and enjoy the learning experience with scholars learning app by downloading it from app store or play store thank you students enjoy learning thank you